So in this video, we are going to discuss that how to replace multiple comma with single comma already. We discussed this one. So for this one, we got one good response from one of our viewer and he put that we can use this one. And sorry, I'm creating this one late video. So first thing, whatever he created, it's going to work really fine. So if I go and showcase to you, so if I run this query, we are getting that multiple comma is got now separated with single comma. But if you go ahead here and try to see this is string underscore AGG aggregate function, it's got added in SQL Server 2017 and later it will be available. But whatever we using that previous one, now older than this, where we discussed that we are getting that this is not a recognized built-in function. And reason behind that, if we go and try to select that version SQL Server, so we get that this one I have 2012 version. That's why it was not supporting. So I went with that other approach. But if you have 2017 or later version, then of course you can go ahead and give this answer. So now. I will try to explain how this is working. So see that what he is doing first, I will go ahead and execute this one. Okay. So first thing we're doing that in from what we're doing, we just try to split it with that split string and comma. So it's got a splitted in this way. So where all we have that uh, comma, it's splitting as that blank values are there. And then we're going to check that if it's blank, then a string aggregate will go and use that value and use that sep comma separated. So first thing we have after running this one from it's going to split it. And then we are putting that condition where value equals to blank, then go ahead and put that comma. So due to this, if we run both of them together, so it's going to work it fine. So I really wanted to thank Sumal Sankar for providing his input that going to help whoever is working after 2017. So I hope you like this video. Thank you.